Aloha, my name is Kiahi Pio here. I'm the restoration manager here at Heia Fish Pond. So we've been fortunate over the years to, this is the fifth hale kia'i coming up here at the local ia. And through those, through those years, we have gained the skills and knowledge um, to be able to put up one of these hale. Not only in the sake of practicing and to perpetuate this, this awesome tradition we have, but, but to make connection. We get to reuse invasives that we'd normally just get rid of. Um, and just to ho'amana this, this lifestyle of, of trying to bring back what was once in perfect harmony with this aina and the things we do. We're about to lash a, a piece up onto this olokea or the scaffolding of this hale. The scaffolding gives us the ability to, to reach the roof, to get the other parts of the hale up, and once the, the hale is complete, the scaffolding will go down. But the main lash we use on this, this part of the hale is, is called an upa'a. And in the name, it kind of leads, leads way to what it looks like. U, as in a U, um, in the shape of the lashing, and pa'a, yeah, something solid, something sturdy. And the main function of this, this structure is to hold us up. For us, we always start on the left side. We're gonna go putting in a slip knot. The slip knot gives us the ability to get this tail and to get this, this lined up as close and as tight to this piece of wood as we can. I'm starting on the bottom, locking this thing right to the bottom, and I'm gonna start my, my lashing. And it's, once you do one go around, just gonna continue that process four times. So, coming around the back to the front, creating my first set of U's in the upa. The important idea is to make sure the width of your line is, is less than the width of the la'o behind it. I'm gonna follow that through. So I went one go around. Now every time I cross through the connection of the two pieces of wood, I'm gonna jump inside of my last lashing. So, I just jumped it inside, keeping my lines neat. Cutting across to the inside in the back as well. And making the crossover back to the inside. It's my second revolution around. I'm gonna start my third. Yeah, always coming to the inside. It's gonna allow me when I throttle this that all lines are gonna push out into each other making a tighter bond to the wood. And here we use a, we like to stay with four. Four revolutions around. And once all my lines have four, That completes the first stage of this lash. So now I've gone around four times. Now I'm gonna do what we, we consider the throttle, which is actually pinching, pinching together this entire lash. It happens right in the middle. The first time I go around, I'm just using this to put tension. One complete revolution around, around this neck. I'm gonna Give it some pressure. The second time I go around and the third time I go around, I'm gonna put in a half hitch in the same direction. First revolution, half hitch coming through. This is gonna create the first lock. And what this is gonna allow me to do is be able to pretty much let go of my lashing at this time. This half hitch has locked it. Second time with the half hitch, same direction. Coming through my throttle. I'm making sure my half hitches line up together. And the last revolution, I'm gonna switch directions. Bring it back around the other way. And what this is gonna create, it's gonna create a little U. Yeah, you always pull down because that's where gravity is gonna to wanna to take this, this wood. 
created this U. What I'm gonna get to do now is I'm gonna slide in a, a stop knot. And this knot will not be able to back through the throttle, keeping it right there. Yeah, that's our upa'a lashing. All in all, learning lashing, talking to people, teaching people, we're building our communities, we're making our lahui a little stronger. So with that being said, take the opportunity when you, when you hear of hales to come, coming up, when you hear of chances on va'as to, to go down and help, take that chance and, and yeah, get your hands dirty and, and pull on some lashings because it's only gonna make us stronger and more solid in, in what our kupunas knew and how to do it. So, mahalo.